Hey guys, I've done this video before. Uh, on my channel, you might be directed from it, or you might not be. It might be a new video too. But basically, I'm going to show you how to get the old sound back that you used to have when you used to adjust the volume on your Mac. Now, some people might like the new one, some people don't. I don't like the new one. But if you've done this, and you go, help, it hasn't worked. Restart your computer. Restart your Mac, because it will not work straight away. It has to be, you have to fully restart it, try it, you know, and then it should work. If it doesn't, retry the steps. If not, get in contact with me. The download link will be in the description this time. Obviously, I don't know if I forgot, or I could have sworn I did, but never mind. We'll do it again. This is a new video. Because someone commented, it doesn't work. This doesn't work. Try mine. Now they use Tamlin, which is a very complicated way of doing it, whereas I'm doing the visual way, which you will know how to do it easily without any problems. Now, what you need is Macintosh HD on your desktop. Now, if you don't have this, it's very simple to get. All you need to do is at the top of your page, just go to Finder, go to Preferences, and then make sure this will be unticked for you. Make sure hard disks are ticked. Close that, you'll have this on your desktop. You want to open that, you'll get all your files. Right? Now, what you want to do is oh, go away. Is literally all you want to do is go into system, library, okay. Then you want to go down to login plugins, okay. Now I've probably gone past that, haven't I? Yeah, there it is. Click on Bessel Services dot login plugin. Now, do not double click. Going to go like this. So what you do is you know, do a left, uh, a right click. So two fingers. Press down if you've got a Mac Pro, or whatever. Just right click it. Go show package contents. Click contents. Okay. Then you want to go to resources. In resources, you've got these weird folders. You think, what? Go straight to the bottom. And this volume dot AIFF is the file you want to replace and this is the new one which I've got in here no the old one from Lion, Leopard, Snow Leopard, Mountain Lion, all them so from the previous generations of OS X that is it okay now this one so in yours you will have the new sound so what you want to do is if I make a duplicate You'll see what I mean. You'll get a file like this, which is exactly the same name as that. So all you need to do is literally just drag it in, press authenticate, replace. It will ask you for your password. Or if you don't have one, press OK. Or don't enter anything in. There you go. It's done. Now what you want to do is go up to here, restart, shut down, or whatever, and then turn it back on. It should work. If it doesn't, get in contact with me, and I'll sort it out. So that's it pretty much guys, thanks for watching, please comment, rate and subscribe, every subscribe helps, so cheers guys, more videos coming up soon, see ya.